I didn't see you there. My name is Hasten Kadri, artistic producer of the Shakespeare Company. I was just finishing up my smoke break. When marketing our upcoming show Othello, I wanted to make sure our audience had something more tangible than a flashy poster. I wanted to give them something that they'd never forget. Come with me. In this room is our marketing manager, Brent. I've hired him to create a cologne that captures the essence of the play, Othello. Hey, Brent. Hey, Hasem. I'll take it from here. Hey, general public. I'm Brent. This scent is possibly the most complex marketing strategy ever created. Just look at the science and Google searches that went into creating it. So I wondered, where does this story come from? As it turns out, Shakespeare borrowed the plot from an older story called Un Capitano Moro by Cynthia. So I bought a copy, added some iambic protein powder, and Vitamixed it. Next, I added two cups of honesty. Shakespeare uses the word honest in one form or another 52 times in this play. This, of course, is balanced by Iago being the most dishonest guy imaginable. So I chucked in a bunch of lies. Now, Othello is a moor. And I was like, what's a moor? Well, no one's really sure what Shakespeare was going for, other than he's dark-skinned, therefore he shouldn't marry the light-skinned girl. So I threw that issue in there. The play is named after Othello, but interestingly, Iago actually has a larger part at 1,098 lines, while Othello himself has 887. So, in they went. Then I swirled in some bottled jealousy, soldier sweat, Venetian blinds, a few drops of snickitiness, and, I don't know, a couple corn dogs. If you want to experience Othello, check out the show that the Shakespeare Company is putting on. If you want to experience nasal bliss, get Othello up in your sinus cavity by using... Othello. The new cologne by the Shakespeare Company. <sighs> the scent of Shakespeare.